Okay, so we're back with Seven Days to Die. I'm hoping to God this records and everything goes well because my PC fucking blue screened when I turned it on. So that was fun. Really glad about that. Um, so we're going to go and we're going to get some more work done on the base. Um, and we're going to do some other stuff. Maybe loot a little bit, but mostly we're going to focus on getting the base done, I think. So I'm recording all three of these that I have left for September in this one sitting. And I'm going to do about an hour each. And uh, I, I really hope we can get the bridge and everything fully finished. Because, I mean, we have the bridge made, but we don't have, like, we don't have the trench made. We don't have a bunch of other stuff finished. So it would be really nice to get that done. Uh, let's see. Try to make sure there's nothing, no bears or anything. So yeah, I was like, okay, well, seeing as my PC blue, you know, blue screen the first fucking second I booted up. I mean, I don't know what caused it because it doesn't have malware or anything. But the only thing I can maybe guess is like, because Steam auto opens. And I wonder if it was doing one of those weird, like, Windows automated scans. So I almost wonder if, like, because when I turned on, it was, like, running like crazy. Like, the fan was going ballistic. I mean, it wouldn't shock me if maybe, like, it opened up a bunch of weird little things. I don't know. It's bizarre and annoying, and I hate it. What's in the stump? Padlock, that is completely useless. So yeah, let's get to the uh, let's get to the new base and let's uh, let's get some more work done on it. Actually, you know what? While I'm out here, how how are we doing on wood? Two thousands, nice and all, but we could use a little more. Yeah, let's chop down this tree. I'm thinking, and then we can uh, we can get to work on the base. So I'm thinking before we even develop the trench, I want to get the tower going, and I want to get some other stuff done. Um, I'm trying to think how we're going to find more eggs, because every time we go to loot a bird's nest, I keep finding fucking feathers instead, which is really annoying. Because we need birds, like, uh, we need eggs in order to get more bacon and eggs. Because I really don't want to use grilled meat anymore now that I know that bacon and eggs is just better. Just, like, inherently better. Just everything about it is better. I feel like our walls can come into view any second now. Uh, anything else? No. Also, some other news, which may lead to uh, some much more enjoyable recording sessions on my end. To the best of my knowledge, the neighbors above me have moved out. I I shit you not. I'm I'm pretty sure they're gone. Like, if that's the case, oh, I could finally record at 10 at night again. And, like, not have to deal with their shit. Unless somebody else moves in, it's just as awful as they were. Because for some reason, this apartment building believes it's a great idea that, like, almost every apartment should have hardwood floors. Like, no, carpets. Like, it's just, it's so annoying, because it's like, carpets are always the answer when you're trying to, like, damp and sound so like why would you put hardwood in it just it's really stupid and um I'm trying to think what else to talk about oh I, I guess I should talk about the whole Cory Kenshin thing going on I mean it's gonna be probably done by now but at the time of recording this is pretty relevant so YouTube has effectively been called out by Cory Kenshin for uh for doing some questionable things in relating to targeting. His accusation is that they're racist, which I don't think is accurate. I do think there definitely is favoritism on YouTube, but I don't think, like, I don't believe the racist accusations he's making. I mean, I agree, there's a lot of problems with YouTube currently. Like, I just, honestly, just off the fact that, like, YouTube has become so clickbaity alone, 
that's like a big enough issue in my mind but at the same time it's like yeah there's other problems I mean part of the reason is YouTube's gone complacent because other than TikTok it doesn't really have any comp you know competition like it's just because I mean Twitch is dead at this point I mean nobody watches Twitch anymore and then you have like fucking what hill Wait, what's the air one it's like hill or something that's like the YouTube knockoff where, like, the big pull of it is, like, oh, there's no DMCA, but it's, like, yeah, but it also doesn't have the same, like, options that YouTube does. I don't know. I, I have... I have some issues with a lot of the, uh... A lot of the stuff YouTube's been doing lately. Especially, like, pushing the YouTube shorts. Like, nobody cares about YouTube shorts. Like, I don't, I don't know where YouTube got this idea in their head that they have to, like, compete with TikToks. Like, you two do completely different things. You don't need to compete. Like, I, I do not understand their points trying to compete with TikTok. Smash. Good smash. There we go. Wood frame, wood frame, wood frame. But I mean, yeah, in, in regards to what I'm talking about, a lot of um, YouTube having a lot worse problems than what Corey Kenshin was talking about. YouTube currently has, there's one big issue I can think of, which is to do with uh, Eight Thoughts, which is he keeps creating new accounts, which I find kind of hilarious. Like, YouTube's been trying to ban this guy for, like, fucking ever. Except the problem is, like, he keeps making new accounts. They're not doing anything about it. It's like, at what point are you just going to ban this guy's IP address? I mean, I guess in the day and age of VPNs, it's not really as doable, but... Ugh. I don't know how I feel about VPNs. Because, like, on one hand, it's nice to have the cybersecurity. On the other hand, it's like, they're really fucking annoying. And create more problems than, honestly, you know, that they fix. Oh, how am I doing here? Okay. So I'm trying to figure out logistics of what we're going to have to do. Yeah, this, this is fine. That's nice and low. Let's just fill us in. Nice. Curse you, tiny rock, my mortal enemy. Get out of my way. There we go. So we're going to create a tower here. And I don't know how wide we're going to make this. But I think maybe like just wide enough to connect to this. There we go. Keep filling in the wood frames. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm recording all three of these because I'm like these gotta get done. Like I can't, I can't procrastinate this any longer. Like it's already almost September. It's literally like a day till September, and I still have not finished all of these, and I still have not done uh, Camper Door Fair. Hopefully my computer lives long enough for me to do Camper Door Fair. Jesus Christ, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that shit was. Get the fuck out of my way, tiny grass. There we go. I mean, I don't... I mean, I know my PC is getting up there at this point. I mean, it's, it's officially past, like, the three-year mark, which is... Unfortunately for PCs, that's why I always say, like... People who make the argument that PCs are cheaper than consoles, no, they're not. Like, unless you do something catastrophic to your PlayStation or your Switch or your Xbox... Your fucking console is fine. Consoles can't get malware. Consoles can't get a fucking bunch of other problems that PCs can. They're cheaper. They have most of the same games at this point because at this point, fucking both PS5 and the Xbox are just, you know, PCs themselves. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's, let's smash Tiny Tree. Get that out of the way. Okay, good. Fill this in. Okay. 
so yeah, I want to do Camper Dorfair, but we'll see if my PC continues having problems. I don't know. I mean, like I said, it seemed almost like it was like running a bunch of stuff, weirdly enough, at startup, which it shouldn't have been doing, but it is a Windows PC. They always act questionable. Gotta love Windows. The land of inconveniences, at least not Vista. Okay, there we go. So we have till day, what is it, 98? Day 98's next horde, I want to say. So we're, we're pretty good on that. We're not... Oh god, have I really burned through... Okay, Jesus. I was like, have I actually burned through this many wood frames already? Alright, let's make a hundred of them then. Come on. There we go. How are we doing on skills, actually? We gotta be close to leveling. Athletics can take a little bit. Uh, construction tools. Okay, miscrafting just went up. Uh, mining tools. Okay, mining tools we could probably get done if we have to make more wood. Oh, I just looked at my, uh, my stats. I need to drink the waters. All the waters. Get out my way. No, there we go. Silly bush. Good. Yes. So basically our goal is to connect it to this little like tower we're building. And we're going to have a lookout. And I think we might do this on multiple sides. Because I think what I might do is I might... uh. Like, once we build upward a bit, I think, yeah, the bridge goes that way. So I think what I might do is I might make, like, a, a cross here, like, just a bridge, and then have, like, towers on each side. I don't think I can make them on the back side, but I don't think the back side matters too much. Honestly, the thing that really matters is getting this part done, like, getting this whole section Okay. Now we just gotta fill in these. I'm hoping we can get to level 28 by the end of this video, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. I mean, construction and misc is gonna keep going up, but other than that. Okay. Good for you. Fill that in. Come on. God, the, the building is so awkward in this game because of the way, like, the fucking plants are. There we go. Keep smash -o. Okay, good. I'm trying to figure out, like, how we're going to connect this. So I'm not sure if I should keep my weapons inside my main base or whatnot because I definitely want to start making those boxes soon. I definitely want to start expanding the base soon. I also thought about, and if you remember, I was thinking about turning this whole section into a room, but I was thinking I'd rather just have like extra fortification here and just kind of like make more wall. I mean, honestly, I might even make this wall like two layers thick. We'll see. I don't like fucking around construction too much, though, because if I fall off and die, that's a whole fucking issue I really don't want to have to deal with. Keep going. What are we doing for construction tools now? Athletics still going up a bit. Yeah, we should be able to get to 59 on construction skills pretty soon. Okay, there we go. This 
so I was thinking about how we traverse the desert, and I think definitely that fork that we saw on the road does lead to a town. Because I was mulling it over, and I'm like, it has to lead to a town. Like, there's no way it doesn't lead to a town. Like, why would there just be a weird fork in the road there? I mean, hell, there's two roads, technically, because, I mean, there's one leading from the hotel and one leading from that fork. And they both go in the same direction, which kind of makes me think that, like, they both go to uh, a town. I mean, I don't think we'll explore the desert more. Um, at least not till we come back from hiatus, because I do want to finish off this base. Like, that is the main goal, is getting this base done. Okay, there we go. So, what we could do with this, actually, I'm thinking, is have it be kind of like a two-floor situation. Like, this down here is one floor. And then we have a door going out this way. And then this goes up to the top and connects here. Yeah, I think that could work. Keep going. Keep building across. Wonderful. God, we're going through so many of these blocks, it's not even funny. We go. I feel like our construction tool is going to go up again pretty soon. Uh, construction. Yeah, it's going to go up like probably from the next couple batches I do. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah, I can easily make, like, I think a, uh, kind of like a dual floor situation where one just leads to, uh, my base slash the top of the tower, and then the other one just leads to the, uh, the outside here. There we go. So, I'm trying to also figure out, like, what are we doing for our uh, food situation, because we're going to run out of meat at some point soon. Like, we still got plenty. Like, we got 17 bacon eggs, but, I mean, I already have to eat one right now. I mean, we've got so much raw meat, but we can't find eggs anywhere is, like, the issue. I mean, I think, honestly, we might have to f just spend a whole day, like, finding eggs. Like, that seems to be, like, the main... Our main problem is just egg hunting, really. Like, nothing else is really that much of an issue. It's just getting those damn eggs. There we go. Another layer. Construction tools went up. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. So we should be able to get this to, I'd say, if I take a guesstimate, probably level 70 by the time we're done. So we still have to make the rest of this tower. We still have to, like, you know, cover this, fill in this whole area. Okay, yeah, that's just, that's just dirt. It's dort. I'm just going to, like, fill in these layers. Now... Game, stop. Why are you being so annoying? What? Okay. Tiny bush, you gotta go. You're in the way. What? Okay. Now we just fill in all these. So we have the foundation, basically. We just need to make the rest of the walls and the roof. And then the tower. Very nice. Okay, so that's fully done. Um, 
Hmm. So I think like walls this way, maybe. I had to edit that out. My arm just like snapped weird. Some weird skeleton man. Okay, we're out of we're out of wood. We got we gotta go out. We gotta go smash some trees. Smash. Okay, let's go take out all these trees. Actually, you know what? Let's just go for big boy trees. Because that'll give us more wood. I mean, we could smash a bunch of tiny little worthless trees, but... I'll take the chicken ration. Don't really need the blood bag, do we? Oh, you can eat the blood. Well, that's fun. I don't know why that's a thing, but... You know what? Food is food, I guess. Um, dear God. So yeah, I think we'll go to like day 95. This Bibiot. And the next Bibiot will do, uh, I think like 96, 97, 98. And then... God, video after that, we're hitting day 100. It's crazy. So I mean, we've already survived like what, over a quarter of the challenge, basically. Like, once we get to day 100. Like, that's pretty nutty when you think about it. Oh, wait. I gotta take this off. I'm getting sweaty. I don't want to get sweaty when I'm working. There we go, my temperature's starting to drop. A little slower than I'd like, but it's starting to drop at least. Okay, so that's one tree done. Which wood do we got? Uh, let's keep going. Just kind of being careful here because I haven't really been in this area before. I don't know what what threats are a boot. A boot A. So, yeah. At the time of recording this, I think, like, the first Camper Dwarfer video has gone up. I don't know. I haven't recorded it yet, but... Yeah, I love how just the channel has just evolved into Call of Duty. It's going to get so much worse in November. In November, we're going to be doing, like, the new COD, and we're doing, like, original Marm Warfare 2. So, we're getting quite a few, uh, quite a few COD games done. I mean, honestly, I would like to get to the point where, um... I'd like to get to the point where we can just kind of like play whatever is newest with Call of Duty campaigns, but try to make sure there's no bears around. Oh, piggy! Come on! Oh my God! Aiming in this game. No, piggy! It took me so long to aim that you're walking away. Uh, Pigliff, no. Pigliff, please. My piggly friend, where are you? Where are you, Piggles? Piggles McGee. He's on the other side of that rock or this rock. Oh, no. Oh, wait. No, there he is. Gotcha. Okay, uh, let's put the stone shovel away, and we'll take this. There we go. Blade weapons went up. That's good. Okay, well, he just exploded. Oh, right. We gotta get rid of some stuff. Uh, fuck it. We don't need dirt. Uh, raw meat. Raw meat. Nope. Okay, well, at least we didn't really waste anything other than, like, that one raw meat that we picked up. Some large bones and stuff there, but I don't really need that. We have one bullet left. This is a problem. I kind of hate doing it, but I think we actually have to go into the desert. Yeah. I mean, I should go and make sure that, uh, that bridge is closed up, but... We're going to have to go into the desert, I think. 
I don't think there's any way around it. We are officially out of everything. Yeah, this is a problem. Ooh, bird's nest. Tell me there's eggs. No, there is not, of course. Oh, the gate's already closed. Fantastic. We still need to put some stuff away, though. Here we go. Open. Okay, so let's just put in here, because it's easiest. So, car battery, blood bag, uh, we don't need the animal hide, we don't need the pine cone. And then let's put away the uh, chicken ration here, because that's where all our food goes. Uh, oh yeah, we don't need the short iron pipe, why do we have so many of those? Jesus. Yeah, we really gotta, like, clean this inventory up, because it's quite messy. Um... You know what? I'll keep the wood frames I was thinking about because I'm like, oh, I can put those away. But it's like if I need to like to get out of a situation, some you know somehow, I need to use those wood frames to do it. So oh. Okay, let's go. So the desert is all the way up there, but there is a path this way, which probably leads to the same kind of area. In fact, it might even lead to a town. And, uh, yeah, if you remember, too, I also said I wouldn't do a compilation for COD 4, but I was like, you know what? It's not too much editing, was my sort of viewpoint on it, and I'm like... I don't want to leave my compilation for COD 4 as the one I did from like a year and a half ago where my microphone sucked ass and like the compilation was way too long for its own good. Like there wasn't really a reason for that compilation to be an hour long, honestly. It could have been, I think, cut down by like maybe 10 minutes. You know, due to like frame snipping and stuff. Okay, so now we gotta be kind of careful as we're moving. Because when you're in an area you don't really know, you gotta be careful. Could be bears, could be holes in the ground, could be a lot of things. Okay, let me just see. Yes, yeah, so that probably goes back up into the desert. Uh... Deer. Oh my god. There we go. I don't know why the game lags so fucking hard when I kill that deer though. That was some of that weird shit. Unfortunately, we are now officially out of rifle ammo though. We are completely out. We have none left. And this is exactly why we're making our way to uh, find new town, because we gotta get some ammo. Our ammo situation is completely fucking depleted. Uh, anything? This road feels like it goes infinitely. Try to make sure there's no bears around. Piggy! Oh, we can kill this piggy. We can finish off our challenge. Where are you going, Pigliff? Oh my god, how am I not hitting you? Oh my god, mate. 
Mate, you gotta die. How weak is the shotgun? Good god. Oh my god, man. I just shot that pig, like, literally. How many times did that shotty? All eight rounds. I put all eight rounds into that pig. And he didn't die. I had to stab him, like, twice. Dear god. Okay, wait. So, quest... Okay, yeah, we got the skill point for it. So let's put it on to bartering. There we go. Now we are in a super dire situation because we have no ammo. Now, whoa, God, Cliff. Okay, let's uh, let's move a little bit back there. Fuck, did that happen? Um. So that path leads right off of a cliff. Really? I, I love random gen so much. Okay. So, it goes this way, the pathway. Oh my god, yeah, it's just a fucking chasm on both sides. What the hell? I swear to god, we got, like, the world's worst random generated map. Why is the sky turning weird? Oh, because it's night and also raining. What? Why is the sky weird and why did it make weird noise? It made weird noise. Why? Why you do? It's heading toward the desert. I'm leaving. Fuck this. I, I don't I don't trust this. Did it maybe count me as being in the desert just now? I mean, I wasn't though. It's still inside here. That was weird. I don't. I didn't like that. Let's go back to our base. Eggs. Yes, good egg. Yeah, let's let's go back. Cause I don't. I didn't like that. I don't know why it made that noise and why it, the sky turned the way that did. I mean, honestly, the sky's very pink, which is making me concerned. That is a fucking house. Why is there a house over here? I guess we could loot this while we're over here. Smash. Knock, knock, motherfucker. Okay, there's a bed here. Desk, give me ammo. No, okay, good. Book. Just paper. Don't feel like grabbing that for now, honestly. I'll take the beer in the water. Canned foods... Empty can, nothing, nothing. Empty bottle, which is great. Nothing. Empty can. Nothing. At least we found some canned goods. Toilet gun? Nope, just piece of shit. Fantastic. It's not in our blood bag, though. There's a forge here. Not that that really matters. Is there like a dead body out here I can loot? No, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, I cannot believe how bad our ammo situation has gotten. It's really, really unfortunate how bad this ammo situation has gone. I mean, my god, we've got no fucking shotguns round, you know, shotgun rounds. We've got no hunting rifle, no pistol rounds. All we got left is our 44 Magnum and our, uh, our blunderbuss. Jesus. 
as this situation is getting really dire. I mean, the blunderbuss has a lot of ammo in it, but the blunderbuss is really, really weak. I mean, like, compare the entity damage. So you got this, which is 50, with no, uh, no actual range to it. I mean, it's like 34 meters, which is enough. And you go look at this, right? So, entity damage, 6. Range, 17. And that's with, like, almost maxed out shotgun skills. It's 6. Oh, God, this situation is so bad. What is stopping me from getting up here? So, there's more desert out this way. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of land out here actually, so it's probably not, like, radiation immediately. It's really annoying. We're gonna have to figure this out. I mean, we need ammo, without a doubt. That is our number one need right now. Like, food, water, all that stuff can wait, but ammo is, like, really dire at this point. Keep the fucking food. I pressed the button and he didn't eat. Mate, why you no eat? Okay, uh, athletics is almost up. Construction, not really. Scavenging is almost there, but that doesn't really contribute to anything, to the best of my knowledge. Uh, Misc is going up. Mining tools is going up. It's almost day. I would say, like, we can just move out, but I really don't know. Don't know if that's a good idea or not. I really explored this area, so there could be bears around. I'm guessing the like that wind sound in the sky was like it was a glitch and it was just like I was in the desert according to the game even though I wasn't. I don't know. I just love how when I had to do like this challenge run, I got literally the world's worst fucking random gen map. Like literally the world's worst random gen. Like just cliffs, cliffs in bad weather everywhere. Like it never stops. It's literally those two things. It's cliffs, and it's bad weather. And it's like, why? Why you be like this? Okay, well, it's about as bright as it's gonna get, so... Let's go back on the road, see if we can find a, uh... See if we can find, like, a gun shop or something. I don't know. We can't craft fucking bullets. It's, like, the main problem. See, this is what I'm saying, though. If I had made it so it's like I could use those type of skills, I mean, I could just craft more bullets and we'd be fine. We'd never have to worry about anything in this game. Because, I mean, I'd just literally get, like, sexual Tyrannosaurus. I'd get the fucking, uh, crafting hunting rifle stuff, like, ammunition, and then just, like, we'd be golden for the rest of this playthrough. And, like, the thing that increases, uh, like that prevents you from getting hungry. Oh, there's a bird's nest. And then he tumbled down the cliff. The end. No. Oh, God. Is this... Oh, there's a town, but it's in the burnt lands. Oh, Christ. That is not worth it. No. No, no, no. That's, that's not worth it at all. Oh my god, there's literally a fucking town. Okay, let's be very careful where we're walking. Okay, so we got an apartment building, we've got this store. Um. Oh, I do not like being here one bit. That's a police station. It's like kind of wrecked, but it's a police station. There's two fucking hardware stores next to each other. 
What is this? Food store. Oh, shit. Yo, this town is massive. Canned food. Glass jar. Okay, let's just break in here. I mean, hopefully the best thing we can get out of here is, like, fucking casino tokens, I feel like. Really don't like the screaming sounds. If you could, like, not do that, that would be great. See, and the funny part, too, is I want to go into the police station, but we have no ammo. Ironic problem. The place we could go to get ammo, we can't go in because we don't have ammo. I isn't that a wonderful problem to have? Okay, well, first of all, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. Uh that what else do we not need take those take those nothing there casino tokens very nice more casino tokens nothing oh yeah that's right that's one singular thing empty bottle Kind of being careful in here, because I don't know if, like, zombies can glitch spawn here or not. I mean, the, the scary thing is this is right next to a police station, because that, like, there could actually be zombies in here. Which, if that's the case, I mean, I feel like I could kill them with the axe, like, alone, but... I don't really trust it. we got in here. Ron sandwich. Yeah, we ain't using that. Can peas, that's good. Uh anything in here? There's beer. Okay. Oh, it's unlocked. Fantastic. Uh, stuff in there we want, but unfortunately we don't really have room for it. Uh, that's just gross water. Not seeing too much so far. Smash this door down. Smash this crate open. I, if I'm being quiet, it's because I'm listening. Because I don't want to. I want something to sneak up on me. It doesn't help when there's random screaming sounds in the background game. More corn. Or is that ham? I don't remember. you, like, not make those noises, though? Oh, shit. That's some good shit. Okay, uh, you know what? We don't need the iron. Smash that. Raw meat's very nice. Meat stew. Uh, you know what? Let's just get rid of, uh, let's get rid of the shiv for now, because we can just always make and repair our, uh, or a knife at this point, so it's not really a concern. Okay. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you know what? We'll empty up our loot, and then next video we'll come back here. I mean, I don't think there will be any landmines on the road. It's mostly if you run the wilderness and the burnt lands that, like, you run to those, but... 
There's two hardware stores. You know what? Actually, while we're here, let's look around a bit more and see what the air, like, buildings are. That's definitely a police station. Don't know if there's any zombies in there or not, though. See, before I was cocky and confident, because, like, I have ammo for days, but now I don't have that ammo. Bob's Cafe, so that's probably going to have food and tokens. Yo! Yes. Yes. Oh, there could be ammo in here. Oh, there could be ammo in here. Oh, shit. Yeah, we need to loot this. We need to loot this right away. I don't care what we have to drop. We need that fucking ammo. If there's any ammo in here at all, God, can you imagine if we found Sniper in here? Holy shit, that would be amazing. Make sure nothing's sneaking up on me. Okay. Uh, smash this open. What is this? Hunting rifle barrel. Uh, I mean, we can always come back here, but... No, take the damn thing. Silly little man. Come on, casino tokens. Okay, not as many as I would like, but I will take it. Nothing. Seeds, which I can't use because they're illegal. Nothing of any value there. Come on, give me some ammo. I so badly need it. Shotgun receiver. AK-47 stock. I don't think we even have the manual to make that. I didn't even know the AK-47 was in this build. I thought that was in the PC edition, but... I did mute for a second. Fucking ambulance or something just went by. I'm not sure. Something loud. I'm not seeing any ammo so far. This has been a problematic fucking... Yeah, unless there's like some back here. Back off, fuckers. I have a tiny knife. I'm not afraid to use it. Take the blood, because I'm a weirdo. Blueberry seed. Duct tape, which I can't currently use. I don't have the inventory space for it. Well, I can eat that. Can't take the bandage yet. Okay, crack this open. Hope to God there's ammo back here. Smash it open. I mean, the best case scenario is we find a bunch of 7.62 and a hunting, like a sniper rifle. That's like the kind of perfect ideal situation, but somehow I doubt that's going to happen. Uh, shotgun parts. I need ammo, I don't need parts, game, please. That had nothing in it. The fuck? Pistol grip. Don't know, don't care. Oh, you're gonna make me go into that police station, aren't you, game? See, I found, like, two different things for AK-47s, but I can't use them. Ugh, it's frustrating. It's very frustrating to deal with. Let's crack open this safe. Because, I mean, I can guarantee almost there's going to be ammo in that police station, assuming there's anything, like, left of it. It is partially crumbled. But, at the same time, I'm kind of like, ugh. 
I listen. I mean, I, I wonder what we can find in the hardware store, too, because I'm sure we could find, like, a claw hammer, or, like, if we're really lucky, a chainsaw or an auger. So if we could find an auger, we could drill, like, really fast into doors and stuff. If we find a chainsaw, like, our tree-cutting problems are over. Come on. Open up faster. There we go. Oh, fuck me, that was worthless. That was literally less than useless. We got nothing out of coming here, except a couple of casino tokens. Gotta be careful. So that's a theater up there. Yeah, that's definitely a theater. Just keep walking around, gotta be careful. There's another damaged police station, or isn't it the same one? I can't tell. Uh, that also appears to be a damaged police station. You know, for how many police stations this, uh, this town must have had? Oh. Um, there could be some serious stuff in there. That's a power plant. There could be, like, fucking cement mixers and shit. Okay, crack book. That's over there. Let's go over there and, like, loot that a bit. I think we'll spend the rest of this video kind of, like, looting this area, and then next video we'll, uh, we'll wrap this whole situation up. At least this was mercifully easy to break into. Three tokens, not great, but we'll take it. Oh, man. Look at that. Hopefully just lots of knowledge here. Uh, do we have this already? Yeah, we do, but at least increased our gunsmithing. Nothing there. Oh good, they increased our armor smithing. Nice. We need that. Nothing in that one. Lots of paper, but we don't really need paper. I mean, sure, is it useful for fucking blunderbuss ammo? Yeah, but blunderbuss ammo is... I mean, the blunderbuss kind of sucks, so... I mean, for God's sakes, it would probably take me like two shots to kill a rabbit. There's stuff. There we go. See, if I had more ammo, I'd feel safe going into that police station. But I don't have any ammo, and that's kind of scary. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the idea of doing that. Oh, I didn't even have the hunting rifle? Jesus, okay, well now I have the schematic for it, so that's good. What is this? Okay, well that was useful. What's this? Oh, we didn't have that, good. What is this, pistol? I feel like we've got to be close to, like, leveling up. We are not. Not even remotely. Fantastic. Ignore me, I'm an idiot. Okay, so... Let's see. Nothing there. Nothing in there. Okay, let's, uh... Let's loot the back room, see if there's anything good in here. Okay, so there's an office that probably has a gun safe in it. We're really lucky that I'll have bullets in it too. 
gunpowder, which I don't need. I question why there was gunpowder in a bookstore, but you know what? It's fine. Look, don't question it. Don't worry about it. Pants. Pantsu. Okay, so... We've got this to crack open, and I think we'll call it a video. And then next time we'll, uh... I think next time we'll explore this town a bit more and try to see if we can get more ammo, because we're really, really bad for ammo now. This ammo situation is undesirable at best. Life ending at worst, honestly. I have to be very careful, too, as we're looting here, because like I said, burnt lands equals landmines, which I'm not, not happy about at all, but I was really hoping this was just desert, honestly. Come on, break open. Honestly, you know what? We might just go back to our base and uh, deposit some of this loot. Something we don't need a lot of the stuff that we have with us. I mean, it's not exactly hard to miss this town because it's right next to the edge of the road. Wow, that was literally useless. Wonderful. We need to eat and drink. Don't feel like it warrants eating there one. So is there anything else we missed or did we find everything? I mean, there's the bathroom, but I really don't feel like that's, you know, that's warranted going in there. I mean, it's not like there's going to be anything there. Well, this is a lovely day. Where are these red patches? Is that radiation? I don't want to test my theory. Okay, so what we got here, that's the theater. Wait, there's no store this way of some kind. Keep your eyes on the road. The other scary thing too about this fog is a bear could see me, but I can't see it. Right, this is the power plant. Okay, yeah. Ugh, I don't like being over here. The other really uncomfortable thing about being in Burnt Lands, too, is if you stay in it too long, it also increases the heat map. Gotta be careful. Gotta look out for landmines and stuff. Yeah, there's a building here. You know what, I'm going to call it a video, and next time we will loot more of this, we'll explore more of this, and hopefully find ammo, because we're getting really, really, really low.